Hello, my amazing babes, and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Amber the Baddie, and I'm here with another video, a requested video from one of you, which is advice on dating and relationships as a stripper. Whew, this is a big one, and I've got a lot to say. And before I start, for one, I need you to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And number two, I just want to say that feel free to take what works and leave the rest. You might not agree with everything that I'm saying, so I just want to put that out there. So the first thing that I want to say when it comes to dating and relationships is I want you to think about what season of your life are you in right now? Are you in hustle mode? where you're trying to stack, you're trying to make money, you've got goals, you're on your shit? Or are you looking for love? Are you looking for a relationship? Are you looking for your soulmate? Are you looking for your person? Now, I'm not saying that you can't hustle and be looking for your person. Of course you can. But one thing that I have experienced in my life many times as my stripper journey is that I hustle a lot more and I tend to make more money when I am single. When I am working and I am single, I, I just make more money. And the reason why is not because I'm different in a relationship, but when you're in a relationship with someone, you don't really wanna be at work. Like even now, it's like, okay, I'm gonna work today. And then I'm starting to get ready for work and it's 8.30 PM and my husband's at home and my cat is there. And I'm like, man, I just wanna stay home with you guys. I don't wanna leave. I don't wanna be around these stupid men. I'd rather stay home with you. And it makes it more challenging to work. Whereas when I was single, if I'm just home alone and I'm bored, I'm like, well, might as well go to work. I have, I have nothing else to do. And I was working a lot more. And I tended to be a little more flirtatious, a little bit more just, I don't know, my it was just a little bit energetically, a little bit different when I was single. So I just wanted to say that is one way that being in a relationship or dating might affect your hustle. So first, I'm gonna talk about if you're in your hustle right now, of course we all want love, we all have our sexual needs, we all wanna date and have a person or whatever, but if you are in your hustle, if you are not per se looking for something serious, I suggest to capitalize off the fact that you are a hot, sexy woman who is working in a strip club where people will literally pay you to go out with them. I'm just gonna be honest, right? There are men who would be a sugar daddy. There are people who will pay you to go to dinner. There are people who will pay you to go on vacation with them. And in my eyes, what is the difference? Like, okay, in my eyes, if you genuinely enjoy someone's company, what is the difference if they are paying you versus if they're not? What's the difference? So when I was younger, when I was single, I had a, quite a few sugar daddies, right? People would say like, oh, let me take you out on a date. How about we get out of here? I'd be like, look, babe, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not looking for a boyfriend, but I am open for a sugar daddy. So if you're open to paying me for my time, yeah, I'll go out with you. Why not? And they would. Not everyone, but they for sure would. And just to, just to be clear, just to be clear, they're not paying you to fuck them. They're not paying for sex. You're not being a prostitute. But if they want to take you to dinner, sure, pay for dinner, but also pay me 200 bucks to be there. Why not? Why not? Make your money. People will fucking pay you for it. And especially if you're single and you meet people, you meet a hot guy and he's like, you're like, oh, this guy's cute. Okay, if he wants to pay you for it, why not? Why not? That's just my two cents. So, but, but if you are truly looking for a relationship and you want to find someone, you're really just like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for love. If you are ready for love, then I've got some advice for you. 
there's many different ways to do it, right? I know that guys can be judgmental when they find out you're a stripper, they think that you're easy, you're a cheater, you're a slut, all these fucking things. And I have quite a few friends who are like, I don't tell guys that I'm a stripper. They don't need to know that. They don't need to know what I do for work. And that works for them. For me personally, I don't necessarily agree with that, at least for my own self. Like, I feel like being a stripper is such a big part of who I am that it's not something that I want to hide. Because, because for me, I'd rather be with someone who knows that I'm a stripper, who trusts me, who loves me, who accepts me, and who allows me to keep doing what I'm doing, obviously, right? Where I can feel like I can be my full authentic self and where I can feel like I can be honest. I do not like to have to hide things. I spent my childhood having a double life, hiding things from my life and then being this other person. I don't wanna do that anymore. So I personally think that you wanna find someone where you can be honest with them about it and you don't have to hide it. But I get it if you don't. I get it if you're like, they don't need to know. And that option is okay for you if you don't plan on being a stripper for very long. Because when things get serious, or if you decide to move in together, and then he finds out that you've been lying and you've been a stripper for all this time, it just kills the trust, to be honest, right? Like, how would you feel if you were dating someone for a few months and they never told you that they were a stripper? You start thinking, why didn't you tell me? Are you cheating on me? Are you doing something wrong? What's the problem? Like, it just, it kills the trust, in my opinion. So I think that it's best to always be honest. Always be honest about what you do and about who you are and to show your true authentic self. But at the same time, right, we, being a stripper means that we have all of these prejudgments. And there is, I'm gonna give you some things to look out for in men as you're dating. This applies to if you're a stripper or if you're not a stripper, right? So one, you need a man who is not jealous. If someone is jealous, it's not going to work. I'm sorry, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna be happy. Either you're gonna be fighting and, all, and arguing all the time or he's gonna make you quit your job. In the long run, it's not going to work. So I would just, the second people start giving you those jealousy vibes, it's, it's over, it's not gonna work because this job is not for the faint heart, especially dating someone who's a stripper. It's too hard, it's not gonna be good for either one of you. Number two, you need to have someone who is ambitious, independent, and self-sufficient. There are different layers to all of these things. But you cannot be dating someone who is a low life, who doesn't have a job, doesn't have no money, has no ambition, works a shitty ass job at Jack in a Box, doesn't really care, and is not working for themselves. That's also not going to work. Because, here's why. Number one, you're going to lose respect for them. And it's going to fuck up your dynamic. Two, he's going to feel emas emasculated emancipated he's gonna feel like shit he's gonna feel less of a man number three you're gonna end up being the sugar mama you're gonna end up paying the bills paying him to go on vacation you guys move in you're paying the rent well you make more money and he has no ambition once again it's not gonna work you need someone who's ambitious he needs someone who is working towards something now a lot of girls fuck up and they're like, I need my man to make six figures, have his own house, drive a Range Rover, have this, pay my rent, give me money. He was 100% faithful to me. And he was everything that I asked for. He was funny, smart, successful, with a big dick, no kids, and <laughs> tall and dark skin. No, what this goes on. Two tall and a Yorkie with a pit bull and a dope man. Two tall and a yard with a lot of land. Acres on acres <laughs> out acres with a hot tub and a business and a company. He a CEO and a entrepreneur. No 95, but don't kiss me. Big dick with a small dog in the backyard with a pool. Champagne, little bubbly. Let me get it. You want to be You're looking for a sugar daddy. That's what it is. And if you're really looking for love, 
it shouldn't matter really how much money they make. It's not about what they have. It's about how they treat you. And of course you want someone who is independent. You don't want to feel like you're responsible for you and them and that you're paying for everything. So really you want someone who is working towards something. They don't have to have six figures yet. They don't have to have a successful business, but if they're working towards it, if they're growing, if they're working on themselves, if they're healing their traumas, if they're putting themselves out there, that's a good sign because we are all leveling up and we all level up at different paces. Not everyone can make stripper money. Most people don't make a thousand dollars a day or 500 a day. So we have to be understanding because if you're the kind of person you're like, I need my man to be rich and to be this, Number one, are you loving them for who they are? And number two, what kind of person are they? You know, I see so many girls who get hurt by wanting the richest, flashiest man, but this dude's a fucking cheater. This dude makes money, but he ain't shit. So money's not everything. And it's really important for you to find someone where money is not everything for them either. You want them to feel like, hey, yes, you're a stripper. I trust you. I'm cool with it. I love you. Whether you're making this money or whether you're not. You don't want to find a guy who's a gold digger either, right? You don't want to be taken advantage of and you don't want to be used. And in saying all of this, right, in a nutshell, you have to have high standards. And this is why I really encourage you to be on your hustle until you find someone worthy. Listen to those red flags. The second people start showing you their colors and their jealousy and their controlling, cut it out. Because like I said, you're gonna end up not wanting to work as much because you're all in love or you're having drama with your man and it's a headache whenever you go to work. So you're gonna choose to not go to work and it's gonna fuck up your money. So you wanna be on your hustle, make your money, but find someone who loves you and supports you for who you really are. Now, typically I would advise against dating someone who works the strip club. That's just, if there's anything I will say for a matter of fact, don't date the managers that secured the DJ. Don't fuck them, don't date them, don't do shit because I guarantee you they are doing that with at least five of the girls at your club right now. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. If you're gonna meet with someone at the club, Think of it as a sugar daddy situation. And if you're gonna date, be honest, be open, put your best foot forward. Being a stripper is not all that you are. And something else like you are gonna have to try a little harder to show your partners that they can trust you. Because of course it's easy to be like, oh my God, she's a stripper. She's around a lot of attracted rich men all day and night being naked on them, of course your partner's gonna get jealous and it, of course it's easy for them to get jealous. And in my relationship, I 10 times the amount of love that I show him. I'm always hyping him up and letting him know that like these men ain't shit, I'm just here to make money, I'm just here to work. And it's very clear about that. And I could be very clear, be like, oh my God, this is how my night went, I met this kind of person. Like you wanna be able to be open and be honest and be, just and to be truly yourself and not have to hide who you are because i've seen so many mistakes with girls where they try to hide it and it always backfires it really does and you just want someone who's going to truly love you for you so these are my tips on dating as a stripper I hope it was helpful. Let me know if there was anything in the comments that I said that was helpful. Or maybe there's something that I said that you're like, nah, -uh, girl, I do not agree. Let me know. And if there's any videos that you want me to make, you've got questions about anything, I'll make a video for you. So let me know. I'm a open book and I'm here to support you. Don't forget to add me on Instagram at it's Amber the XO. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.